Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Otter Outdoorsman and I'm here with Anthony today and we're going to be talking about getting kids outside and having fun. Um, Anthony, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Anthony. Uh, I teach uh, wilderness survival programs and uh, outdoor educational programs for kids, uh, mostly in western Massachusetts and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, uh, tell us what school you work at. Uh, so I work with a, an organization named Earthwork Programs and we um, have been around for almost 20 years now in western Massachusetts and um, myself I mostly uh, work with youth, uh, kids between the ages of 8 and 18. Um, we have a homeschool program which is amazing. Uh, one day a week we have a group of homeschool kids that come to us and we basically have our classroom in the woods and we practice all types of um, uh, ancient skills, uh, wilderness survival, and bushcraft, and just proficiency in thriving in the outdoors. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And is it? And is this something you're also going to be doing at the bushcraft show, or like you're going to be working with, like doing some of the pro programs with the youth? Or absolutely, yeah. We'll be at the New England bushcraft show. We'll be. Uh, doing some demonstrations, we might do some cordage making, we might do fire by friction. Okay. That's always one of my favorites to do with the kids, get the bow drill out or, you know, flint and steel. And kids love that, you know, that's that's okay. really exciting for them. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing demonstrations where, you know, we love to do programs with families. That's another one of my favorite things. Um, okay. uh, not just working with the kids, but working with the kids and the parents and, you know, uh, uh, helping them form this relationship uh, together in the outdoors and okay. and giving them a structure, um, a framework uh, for them to be able to to kind of find a way to enjoy themselves and learn new things together. You know, I find mm. that's one of the most amazing things is that I think I learn <laughs> and the parents and the adults learn just as much as the kids. Yeah, so. it's fun to learn right next to the kids. <laughs> yeah. Because they're smiling, you're smiling, everyone's having fun. Absolutely. So what advice can you give to parents to get kids who may be reluctant or may not really want to get outside to get those kids outside? Um, I would say, uh, for starters, you know, start start small, start slow. It, you know, you don't necessarily have to drag your kid who's afraid of the outdoors or hasn't hasn't been in the outdoors much. You don't have to drag him out for a week of camping or something like that. I would say just like start small and you know start walking, going for walks, you know, mm -hmm. around your house or in your neighborhood, um, and and really um, just recognizing the that nature is around us even maybe when we aren't thinking about it even if we're not in the woods um you know maybe there's a tree you walk by and you can talk about that and um kind of learn together uh you know like oh i wonder what kind of tree that is or you know just i think in, uh sparking curiosity is a big thing and i think uh you know you know a lot about that i, I love <laughs> i love your channel for that because you know just everything you see all the plants i, I mean i love it we, as we're standing here you're you're teaching me new plants <laughs> the, uh, the bed of wintergreen that we're literally standing <laughs> on as yeah. we were yeah. we were out here so just just getting curious and like sparking that curiosity um in kids about you know figuring out the things that we're walking by every day or mm -hmm. um, the uses in, in these properties because that's that's one of the most amazing things that I've learned um, in addition to teaching my students is that near every plant every everything around us in nature you know there's there is uh, useful properties to or, yeah. or you know maybe reasons we should know about it because we should stay away from it like poison ivy or you know those those ones we should stay away from so I think um, you know, really having some forethought in it, um, and, and instead of just trying to get your kid outside and doing something you know a lot about, um, just kind of ahead of time, just thinking, you know, what are little little things I can sprinkle into the day to like make my my kid curious about, you know, the natural world. Learning alongside them too sometimes also helps too. Yeah. I found or I've I've seen mm. is learning with them. Yeah. Um, yeah, and making it fun, you know, making it fun. That's what that's what it's all about for us, you know, splitting it up. You know, you can't just try to drill skills all the time, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love uh, learning new games, and, you know, we play all kinds of games. Like, you're only safe if you're touching this kind of tree or plant. And so that that's instilling those skills, but it, make it into a game. 
Um, so that's all. Any, any a simple great. games you can recommend? Um, that game, the the uh, you're only safe if so like. As as you and your child start to learn about the trees and plants around you um, in your in your area, um, you know, make it a game. Especially if they have friends around and there's a group of kids, you know. Uh, all right, you're only safe if you're touching a white pine in 10 seconds. So 10, <laughs> 9, 8, and they all scatter and try to find the right tree. And some of them maybe don't know, and then can look at where their friend is and go to that one. So mm -hmm. yeah, those games are a lot of fun. Um, and we've got a we've got a whole you know tr treasure trove of those that I pull out of. But that's that's one of the simple, easy ones that I love to just uh, throw out there as we're walking through the woods. You know, it, it, that's another thing is surprising them. You know, yeah. not a game where it's like, okay, everyone sit down. This is the game we're gonna play. Let me explain the rules. Ones that you can just you know kind of surprise them with. I find that you know the kids. Uh, they really like just not having an itinerary, it. basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Which kids hate itineraries. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I mean that's a that's a big thing um, in general. In, in in that I've found that I love in this community and I love about being outdoors. It's just um, being able to be spontaneous and mm -hmm. see where the day takes you. You know, the weather may change your plans. All kind, you know, plans change. So being being spontaneous, flexible. Yeah, all, is, all that stuff. Yeah. Any good resources that people can look for or anything they can keep an eye out for that they may find handy of get to getting kids outside? Um, well, I would, I would say for starters, our, you know, our website is always, uh, you know, there if you want to take a look, earthworkprograms.com. I'll put a link down below. Great. Yeah. Um, and um, I would say, you know, basically any bookstore or, or a lot of places you can find just, you know, simple field guides to show you. Um, either tree and plant species in in your part of the country or tracks is a lot of fun to do with kids um, Again, that's like inspiring that curiosity and as you're walking especially we're coming out of winter now But in winter in the snow, there's a lot of great tracking opportunities. So you can always just find those those books uh, the uh, plaster of Paris molding of the tracks. I, yeah. re I remember that from when I was a kid and my father used to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my father was a geek as much as I am, oh. so I remember that from when I was a kid. <laughs> awesome, yeah, yep, that's a lot of fun, casting the, the prints and, and then being able to take them home and yeah. kind of try to research it. Mementos, I remember from a kid, and, and sometimes if you can make something to have a memento for your kids, mm. it, it's useful. Mm. It, it's a way, because it, it makes that it makes that um, memory point in the kid's mind and gives them that good memory. Yeah. And making good memories makes them want to come out more. Absolutely. And having that, that thing that they can hold in their hand and show their friends and... You'd be like, I have this! Yeah, yeah. Those artifacts are, are great. But I, I, I really do think we have some... I, I, I think it's a lot of good advice there and I really do want to thank you for coming onto my channel and and giving some people some great advice for getting kids outside because I think get, getting getting people outside and having fun is really important but also getting the next generation outside and having fun mm. is even more important because then passing on this information is one of the most important things out there absolutely yeah and I think it's one other thing uh, I like to always remember, and it, and it, it sometimes is difficult as an instructor and someone who's very much focused in running programs and doing activities in the wilderness and, and other things I do, expeditions and mm -hmm. things like that. But I think it's very also, also very important to remember that uh, we have this tendency to think um, in order to get outside and enjoy the outdoors, we have to be doing some kind of activity, whether it's hiking or mountain biking or doing something. but it's important to remember that we're uh, human beings, not human doings. So, yeah. so just the uh, just the enjoyment of just being in nature and just you know observing. Um, that's another uh, uh, great thing I could recommend is um, that we do is uh, we call it a sit spot when mm -hmm. you know we'll we'll pick a you know a certain small amount of time depending on how old the kid is. Maybe they don't have quite a, quite a long uh, <laughs> attention, span. <laughs> attention span, but. But, you know, just saying, okay, we're just going to spend, you know, a minute and we're going to go off, you know, everyone go off on their own, you know, give them, give them space, you know, trust your kids to, to, you know, get off on their own a little bit and mm -hmm. find a little place in the woods to just sit and be quiet and still for, you know, as long as they can kind of uh, manage. And, you know, I've, I've found that we have been completely amazed in how much, um, the benefits of that, how, how much we've, uh, 
gained from things like that because you yeah. know just sitting and being still and quiet in the woods you know birds come it's one of my favorite things to come. do yeah absolutely we've had deer come you know within arm's reach of our students before so this is like sometimes i do it from a hammock but <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> problem is is doing that you may end up falling asleep so yeah. it's a dangerous game <laughs> yeah. but those are those kind of memories like you're oh, talking yeah. about those things that you remember from from doing them with your dad and stuff you know having an animal a deer or a bird come right up to you that's something that's like a uh a, a image in that kid's mind that'll probably last a lifetime so oh yeah uh Creating those is is a beautiful thing to do, and so a sit spot is another great way to great way to do that. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but again, thank you, Anthony, for uh, c for uh, coming onto my channel. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll put links down to where you can find Anthony. Uh, where we were out here at the New England Bushcraft Meetup, um, and you'll be able to find him on uh, where can where can they can where can they find you? Um, so I have a my own website that's kind of in. Uh, um, what's the word? Uh, Disarray? <laughs> no, yes, uh, construction. Yeah, okay. I have my own website that's in construction right now, so it'll be anthonybrogno.com. Um, also on Facebook and Instagram, uh, Anthony Brogno. Look me up on uh, Facebook. Um, Full links down below. Great. And Earthwork programs, um, I'm an instructor with them, so any of our, our youth programs, uh, I'm usually instructing on those. And um, as far as uh, the film that we have coming out, where I was the guide of a four-month-long expedition in Chile, uh, unboundedthefilm.com or Unbounded the Film on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, yeah, look forward to, to connecting with more people in the outdoors. It's going to be awesome. Um, and you'll also be able, if you're going to the New England Bushcraft Show, you'll also be able to find him there as well. Um, but anyways, my name's Nate, and I'm the Outer Outdoorsman. Again, this has been Anthony. You guys Thanks, get outside man. and remember, get outside and have some fun, especially with your kids if you have them. See everyone.